y'all it's Kennedy Simone here and I am back again with another video if you're new to my channel welcome I'm Kennedy Simone a rising sophomore at Spelman College don't forget to subscribe to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew and you know follow me on my Instagram right here so yeah I know we're all excited for move-in day we're hype we're lit, we're anxious, all of that stuff. But first, I'm gonna let y'all know a few things so everything runs smoothly, so you won't be too nervous or any of that, so you can be prepared, okay? But yeah, definitely comment down below when your moving day is and rub your college down there. Go ahead, spam the comments with your college and when you're moving in and all that kind of stuff. I would love to know and chat with you guys as always. But yeah, don't forget to like this video and we're just gonna get right into this video, okay? So I'm going to tell y'all a few things y'all should do before move in day, during move in, and like after you've like moved in your stuff and like tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first thing is talk with your roommate before you guys move in. So for me, I met my roommate at Spellbound, which was in April. Um, so I had a long time to um, prepare and talk with her and all that kind of stuff. So definitely like get acquainted with your roommate, ask them their likes and dislikes, their living habits. Just in case you guys want to share stuff, you guys can prepare that so you guys won't bring two of the same thing that y'all are probably going to share. So just get acquainted with all that kind of stuff. And Spellman, we have specific moving times for each person. So it wasn't like me and my roommate were both moving in like at the exact same time. It was kind of like staggered. But um, yeah, definitely try to get that where it's like one person moves in and the other person moves in a little bit afterwards just so it won't be like two whole families like trying to move in at once. It gets crowded, especially at Spelman. It's hot, okay, in Atlanta, okay? But yeah, I would definitely recommend doing like a roommate tag or something. That's what we did just to find out like just random stuff that you wouldn't know to ask. So definitely like look up some like questions to ask your roommate or roommate tag, something like that. And that should probably help you guys. So the second thing before you move in, pack light. I'm definitely going to do a packing for college video coming very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I would just recommend packing light. Buy stuff when you get to your school. Um, definitely buy all the essentials and pack like, you know, your essentials. But like certain things like food, buy in your college town. Or if you want to buy things online on the store and like pick them up at the nearest store near your college, that works too. I've heard that works really well and you know like there won't be anything out of stock. But definitely try to buy the things that probably will be there just because when you're moving in, everybody in college is probably moving in around that area so things are going to be out of stock so definitely don't try to wait and buy like major things like your comforter or something like that try to just buy snacks and all that kind of stuff so definitely check out my what you need for college and what not to bring to college videos i'll put both of them in the i cards right here because you don't need certain things but you do need some things so it's kind of like what are those so yeah I already have those videos out for you guys so you guys can check that out after this one but yeah I got y'all covered so another thing before you move in I know it helped me out a lot and it probably will help you guys save a lot of time when you're moving in definitely plan what you're going to put in each part of your room if you know how your room is set up that's perfect I knew how my room is basically going to be set up i knew like what kind of space i was working with so i definitely would recommend either finding out how your room is set up or just like plan like oh it's going to be about this many drawers and the closet space is about this big i'm going to have this many shelves this many desk drawers and all that kind of stuff just because it honestly really helps things when you're moving in to have like this list of stuff and like you're going to have people helping you move in for the most part and they're going to be putting stuff everywhere and you're not going to know where to put them so if you guys have this little plan, this little diagram of like what is going to go in each drawer or like an overview of what's going to go in each area of your room, then it will definitely help you save time. It literally cuts down hours like of moving in. So definitely do that. It helps. Trust me. So on moving day, I would definitely recommend wear comfortable clothes. It's okay to look cute and comfortable and dress appropriately for the weather. 
but to be popping out like all the way all the way it's just not practical honestly truly definitely wear something that's appropriate for the weather so for the most part it'll probably be hot when you're moving into college so try to wear something like short sleeves maybe some shorts or some leggings something comfortable tennis shoes or something like that because you're gonna be moving stuff I know we had stairs we didn't have elevators we had stairs um, to move in our stuff and I was on the second floor so who was about to wear something real you know extra it was hot I was tired I was out of breath <laughs> but you know we made it work but definitely just dress appropriately for the weather and side note you can always get cute and freshen up and all that kind of stuff after you move in like literally that's the best time to do it because you'll be fresh and ready for the rest of the move-in day because it's a lot of stuff planned after you like actually move in at least at Spelman and if you're at Spelman Moving day is also going to be the day where you take your pictures. Um, personally, I took my pictures before I um, moved in. So it wasn't like I moved in and then I had to like fix myself up for my picture. And honestly, the picture doesn't really matter too much. But if you care about the picture, then, you know, do a little something to your face if you want. You know, do your hair a little something nice or something. But honestly, it doesn't matter that much. You don't have to pop out. It's just like from here on up what you can see of me right now. So... You'll be fine. You don't have to dress up for that picture. It's not that deep. So another thing, inspect your room. You want to make sure you have everything that's working. You don't want to have anything broken or missing or just not functioning properly. Just because it'll come back to bite you when you're moving out. The RA will ask if you have anything that's broken before you even moved in. Just because if they find it broken after you move out, even if you didn't do it, it's going to be on you. And that's a fine. You don't even need. College is too expensive anyway. So definitely inspect everything before you move in and get caught up in all that mess. So another thing on move-in day, disinfect and wipe everything down. It's dirty. You don't want to be sleeping on anything. You don't know where people have been. All that kind of stuff. Just try to disinfect your bed for sure. Disinfect like your drawers, your desk, everything 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 <laughs> you honestly don't know who was living there before you so do that trust me <laughs> so after you move in i would say go grocery shopping go shopping for last minute items that you forgot or you need or you planned on getting after you got to college, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it'll probably be packed because pretty much everybody in the AUC moves in around the same time. Or if you're at another college, you'll probably be moving in with other colleges around the city. Try to have all your essentials beforehand, like I mentioned earlier. But definitely go grocery shopping after you move in so everything is fresh and it's all prepared for you whenever you start your college life. <laughs> Another thing, get to know your RA, get her number, get his number, whatever. They'll probably give you their information, but if not, definitely reach out to them and get their information so you'll have a way to contact them. You'll probably have questions. You'll probably have some issues that you want to talk to the RA about or just kind of have somebody to turn to whenever you need to talk to somebody. Also, my DMs on my Instagram is open if anybody has some questions or down in the comment. I always reply literally to everybody. So definitely don't hesitate to ask me any questions and definitely ask your RA as well. That's what they're there for. That's their job. So definitely do that. So the last and final thing, offer to help your roommate set up their room or offer to help one of your hallmates or your neighbors or anything just because you want to get to know people. So for me, I personally didn't know anybody but my roommate when I was going into college my freshman year. But it definitely helps when you get to know people on your floor or in your dorm in general and definitely your roommate because you want to have a good relationship with your roommate regardless of whether you're like best friends or just like roommates. <laughs> you still want to have like a good atmosphere in your room like that's where you're living. So just to be kind and courteous just offer to help. They may not need it or you may be after them so that may be a thing but definitely offer to help somebody. So yeah, I didn't want to make this video too super long. It's pretty straight to the point. I hope I can help you guys. Definitely if you have any more questions about move-in day and the move-in process, 
um, definitely leave them down below if you're still wondering certain things. I'm always here to help and I always reply back. So I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of Ken's crew. Be a family, okay? We're the best crew. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Definitely stay tuned for all my other college videos and binge watch all the college videos I have now. I have so many on my channel. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Kennedy, some more.